Hello there guys and welcome back to our car modeling tutorial. Today in this episode we're going to continue with our Ford GT. So we're looking really good. I think this is probably going to be the finale. Got a few things that we need to do for this. We've got a little bit around the window here. We have the vents um, for the side of the engine glass here. Um, we have the rear brakes to kind of finish off too. And then maybe if we have time we'll maybe do a window wiper um, as well. But I think for the most part, that's going to be everything finished. So we'll, we'll maybe start with the brakes here. Um, so the way that these look is it looks like it's glass on the outside and then it's got red on the inside. So I think what we're going to want to do for this is let's go into um, my materials here and I'm going to apply a glass material to this. So we can kind of see through it. Let me get rid of my wireframe a little bit there. And I think what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to hit Control D on this shape. And just for now, I'm just going to scale this up so it's a bit bigger. And then this is what we're going to want to apply our red to. Let's maybe go ahead and I'm going to delete all of that portion. And then I'm maybe going to delete all of this as well. And then delete everything else underneath. So I'm just left with like this kind of outer red rim here. I'm going to scale this back down and I'm going to have this so it scales down and it's just on the inside of that glass there. Okay, so I think that looks okay. Um, I think for this we're going to want to grab the edges. So I'm going to take these interiors. I'm not going to be bothered about the ones behind. I'm going to take these. I'm going to hit Control E and I'm going to scale these down like so and then I'm going to hit Control E again and I'm going to take them in and we'll maybe just take them all the way to the back like so let's grab this bit here and we're going to hit bevel and we'll just bevel this on the inside there, as long as it's not protruding now. It's not going to be a problem. Maybe these edges here, what we'll actually do is let's actually bring them here. Because we do come inwards at this point. And then let's extrude these in again. Something like that. And then I'm going to extrude them one more time to the back. So I've just kind of mapped out the same kind of shape that we have in there. Let's also quickly bevel that too. Something like that. So we have our red portion inside of there. Um, so that looks like when we when we actually apply our proper materials to it, we'll apply our red to the inside and then our glass on the outside there. Uh, just some like really plain glass so we can see all the red on the inside. So I think that's what we want to do for that, which is fine. Um, let's jump onto the window at the side here and spring everything back in. Okay, so we can see that we've got um, a section down here and then in towards the right hand side there. It looks like that section of the window is just, it looks like it's like completely tinted out. Um, just having a look at a reference image here. It looks like it's this is actually like paint rather than part of the actual window. So let's maybe go and I'm going to draw a line just up here. Like so. And let me just isolate the selection because we do have some bevels. So we are going to want to go and draw up and around those two. So I want to do something like that. And then when we have three, it should maintain that to some extent for us. Maybe it actually won't. So maybe what we'll actually want to do here is let's go maybe delete that edge. Maybe drop in a, an extra one down here. And match those together. So now when we hit three, we can see that we're maintaining that edge. That's running down there fairly nicely. So 
that we could do with this is for these faces here. We could actually apply a gloss black to this instead. Like so. Okay. And then what we'll do is I'm going to bring in a new primitive. And this will be gloss black as well. And then this primitive is just going to outline that area for us. Just like that. Okay. And then we can take these vertices here. I want them just to overlap the gap between the window and the seal that we have. And then the same at the back here. want to make sure that we're not behind the window there. We want to definitely make sure that we're in front, which we are. I'm going to grab those edges and we'll just do a little bit of a bevel on them. I'm going to go maybe 0 0.05 and then maybe just add three segments just to give them a nice smooth edge. So I can see in there for the most part it's okay but we're still not looking perfect uh, when it comes to these. So let's maybe add our edge slide on here. I'm just going to push those a little bit closer. just a touch. Okay, so I've got that inside there, which looks fine. Um, let's have a go real quick at our vents back here. got like building a roof one. Um, I'm just having a look at my reference images here and all of these kind of move upwards so they all kind of go something like that. Okay. Maybe what we could do is let's just get rid of all those side faces. So we're happy with that position in there. I'm just going to center my pivot and bring this down. Okay. So it looks like we're probably going to want to do these one by one. So let's go and just drop in all that we'll need. So I'll bring those here. So I've essentially got one um, for every kind of area. Let's maybe just chuck all of them up here. So with these, basically what it looks like is, all, we've got them fairly positioned nicely at the top. So I'm just going to pull them down to sit where they should do. And then I'm just going to bring the other side to kind of match. Like so. Maybe 
Maybe gonna bring that lower bit up a touch. Okay, this is probably gonna take a little bit of time, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run through and add all these in. I'll pause the video real quick and then we'll come back and crack on with the rest. Alrighty guys, we're back and we've got those in there looking nice in position and then I've got them the same colour as the rest of the material there too, so we're looking quite good there. I also um, beveled the edges of them just to make them look a little bit nicer. Um, but happy with those. So we've got the rear brakes and we've got that done. We could maybe have a go at one of the uh, window wipers real quick. Um, we'll just go maybe super basic on this. I'm going to go and I'm going to grab a plane. And there we go. One on one for the subdivisions. Let's take this into position down here. And this is just going to be super, super basic. But let's bring this around here. And we'll maybe just go for the first section there. Okay. Take this down. Okay. So I'm going to drop this down here so that this first section kind of sits on there. And then this bit here, I'm going to want to bring that just above. Okay, so I'm going to use a combination of my perspective view here. Um, before we continue, what I'm actually going to do, just to make this a little bit easier, is I am going to just bring my standard Lambert back onto the windscreen here. Um, if I can grab that there. Just so that I can see if anything's going to be falling or going where it shouldn't be. I'm going to take the edge, I'm going to hit control E, I'm going to pull this, um, and I'm going to take this up here until it's right where the kind of arm attaches. I'm going to drop that down here. I'm going to go again to the other side of where the arm attaches. Hit control E, I'm going to go again this time up here. Go control E one more time and let's take that up here and then we can drop that down too. Okay. So we'll just fine tune this. So maybe let's go about halfway there. Okay, let's grab both of these. Fairly happy with that. I have grabbed something else, let me just jump back in. Okay, so I'm going to go and grab this bit here. I'm going to hit Control E. Let's maybe take it down a touch. Okay, take it down a touch. Um, now, before we do anything else, I'm going to grab my rotation and I'm going to center the pivot. Let's maybe just Rotate it around in that direction. Okay. Okay, so we'll go something like that. Let's grab the face here. I'm going to hit Control E. And I'm just going to maybe on the component. We'll pull that up there. Maybe take it in a touch. Okay, something like that. Um, in my top view here, let's just adjust it so it's sitting a little bit cleaner. Take it down a touch as well. Okay, 
going to grab this face, let's hit control E. Uh, looks like we maybe want to pull over in this direction. And as we do, let's take it down a little bit lower. And then we'll go again. And this, this time it looks like we want to go up here. And I'm just going to extrude that out a bit as it gets a little bit wider. Okay, and let's maybe take all the edges here. I'm going to hit Control E, let's drop this down here, just a touch. Okay, just something like that. I'm going to get these top edges here. Let's see if we can get these on components. Not really, so let's maybe go for our vertices and let's maybe do this in our top view. I'll just come down here to make it a little bit thinner. Okay, and we'll do the same over this side. And then what we could do with this is we could bevel it if we wanted to, um, just to make it a little bit smoother. I'm not going to be too fussed, I'm not going to add too much more detail to it um, just for the video here. Um, and that will just be a simple case of making that grey. I will bevel that a little bit myself, maybe around these edges up here. Definitely around this bit down here. Maybe we'll take this one too. Add a couple of different segments in there. Okay, so that's just a super basic um, wiper. I would maybe then just duplicate that and add that to the other side too. Uh, let me just quickly apply dark materials there and bring in our glass back here. Alright guys, so I think we're going to stop that here. I think that is this model now complete. We're looking really good. Everything is pretty much nailed. Um, I did obviously rush through this in order to kind of get it nice and small um, tied up into a fairly small series. I didn't want to make it obviously too long as well. So I think that is that finished. Um, thank you for chilling. Thank you for being here if you are watching this episode all the way to this point. Thank you uh, for supporting the series and such, please hit that like button, please subscribe to the channel for future videos, and I will see you in the next one.